is Moto G45 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So if you are planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought this then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. If you will try to take a screenshot by using your three fingers and swiping down then it won't click a screenshot. But you have to use the three fingers and then tap and hold on the display then it will click a screenshot. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your up feature in the smartphone. Open your settings, scroll down and then click on home and lock screen. Click on lock screen and then scroll down to the bottom. There you will see the option of jump to lock screen. Firstly enable this and then click on this double tap jump to the lock screen and then click on done. Come back and then click on that last option put the display to sleep also enable this now whenever you are on home screen you can simply double tap on the empty area and it will lock your smartphone and if you will double tap on the locked smartphone it will wake your screen up by default this phone doesn't show battery percentage in your status bar to enable this open your settings and then click on battery there you will see the option of battery percentage enable this and then it will start showing battery percentage in your status bar you can also see deleted messages from WhatsApp, Instagram, etc. And you don't have to download any third party app for that. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notifications. There you will see the option of notification history. Click on this and then enable this. Now whenever someone will message you, it will save all those messages here and you will be able to read them even after he or she will delete it. If you read ebooks, articles, etc. Then you must enable the next feature. Open your settings and then click on display. Scroll down there you will see the option of screen timeout. Click on this and then enable this attentive display. Now if you will enable this then it will prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking at it and you don't have to keep on tapping on the display to keep it on. This phone comes with 120Hz of display refresh rate but by default it is selected to auto. To get to the smoothest experience you have to select 120Hz, open your settings, scroll down and then click on display. There you will see the option of display refresh rate. Click on this and then select 120 hertz now you will get the smoothest experience in the smartphone but keep in mind it will consume your battery little bit extra as well you can customize the ui colors icon shape and fonts in the smartphone tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize there firstly click on this colors and you have different option you can select your favorite one and then click on save then it will change the ui color of your smartphone as you can see now if you want to change the font style then select fonts you have four different options select your favorite one and then it will also change the font style in your smartphone now let's discuss the icon shape you can also change them select icon shape you have five different options here select your favorite one and then click on save it will also change the shape of your icons in this smartphone if you will long press your power button then it will launch the voice assistant app instead of opening your power menu if you wanna set it to power menu then open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there you will see the option of press and hold power button by default it is selected to digital assistant you have to select power menu now if you will long press your power button it will launch your power menu there are two gestures by which you can easily and quickly open your camera application the first one is double pressing your power button if you will double press your power button then it will quickly launch your camera application the second one is Move your wrist like this twice and then it will open your camera application. So with the help of these two gestures, you can open your camera application very quickly. If you use your phone at night a lot, then you can enable these three features to decrease the pressure on your eyes. Simply open your settings and then click on display. There you will see the option of dark theme. If you will enable this, then it will turn all the whites into black and it will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. Again scroll down there you will see the option of night light if you will enable this then it will warm the color of your screen. It will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. The third one is in accessibility settings. Scroll down and then enable this extra dim. It will dim your screen beyond your phone's minimum brightness. So with the help of these three features you can keep your eyes safe if you use your phone at night a lot. You can use two application at the same time in the smartphone. Open the first application, put it in recent and also open the second application now open this recent button and then click on this app icon click on split view and then select the second application if you will double tap on the back of the screen then it will click a screenshot you can set your favorite action and you can also set your favorite application for this simply open your settings and then click on gestures scroll down there you will see the option of quick launch click on this 
click on settings here you can select your favorite action or if you want to set your favorite application then click on open app then select your favorite application and now whenever you will double tap on the back of the phone it will open that application for you you can also quickly turn on your flashlight simply shake your phone like this twice and then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will shake your phone again it will turn off your flashlight you can also change these three button navigation to gesture navigation open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there on the top you will see the option of navigation mode by default it is selected to three button navigation you have to select gesture navigation in the same gesture settings you will see the option of one handed mode if you will enable this then you can use your phone with a single hand very conveniently to enable this you have to swipe down from the bottom like this it will enable the one hand mode 